missing the recoil, missing the water cap. This water line is probably no good. It's also not connected. Missing a muffler right here, missing a spark plug. Who knows what else? It's got a new recoil for it, just a generic one, and a new cap or hub or whatever you want to call this. I couldn't find one that went, or I couldn't find a recoil that went to this one, so I just bought one that had the matching pair. And we'll just take that one off, put this one on, put the recoil on, and that should be that. It's a 19 millimeter or three quarters. They're almost exactly the same, not quite, but close. Right, new one on. And so there's these three holes that line up to these three little dowels here. And then there's an extra hole. Let's see here, this thing right here this little nipple that sticks out the backside that goes in there. So I'm just going to line it up and set it in and then put this on. This is a GX160 Honda motor. They're used in just about everything. And I'm trying to be delicate on that. That's the crank uh, that you're putting that nut back onto. I want to make sure that you know you don't shock it too bad with the impact, and you also don't want to crunch it. This is plastic right here, this fan, so I don't want to break that either. So just on there tight enough that it ain't going anywhere. These aren't the bolts that go to this. They're just the ones that work for now. You can see there's a gap between the red, the head of the washer, and it's not really holding it down. I mean, it's holding it down enough here, and you can see that I can still pull it. What I was worried about is this going in too far and hitting that flywheel fan plastic thing behind there. Um, they don't go in that far, thankfully, so I can still turn it. Before putting the spark plug in, I want to make sure it has sparks, so I'll just pull it over a couple times. Really helps. The switch was on. see any spark whatsoever. I'm gonna replace both of these. I got a rebuild kit and it came with a new one of each so can't hurt to replace them both if you got them. Yo yo what are you There's a little tab on this side right there. Just trying to get it on that side of that tab so I can tighten this down correctly. So that was hooked up. This one would go here, the black goes to this one. extra wire that's not on this unless it's behind there. Now what we can also do, since this is most likely just the switch, we can hook up everything back up and see if we get spark again to see if it was just this guy.
All right, let's try the spark plug again. So I've checked just about everything I can except for the ignition coil here. You check just to have spark in first place. Checked the switch and replaced it with the new switch and still no change. Checked the low oil sensor, which is part of the switch. It's that collection of wires there. It's uh, actually this yellow wire here. Um, you can disconnect it, and if it still doesn't have spark, then it's not that. Um, we replaced that little metal box that was with the switch. Still didn't fix anything. So the last thing to check is the coil. To do that, you will check this side, the block here and this tab which connects to this wire here it goes to your uh, kill switch your on off and then this side to the spark plug which is up and over and around so got ohm meter here this is auto raging so should just have to put it on here and get a reading on this side and we got 1.5 ohms I think this is supposed to be one ohm or less, so that's too high, which is bad. And then same with the other side. I'm gonna have to do the other part off camera. And that is at 16.7 ohm, uh, kilo ohms. There's a K in there, it's kinda of hard to see, but on the ohm symbol above the seven, there's a K. So we got 1.5 ohms on the primary side and 16.7 roughly kilo ohms on the secondary side. Those are both out of spec, so it's probably safe to say that this is bad and we'll need a new one.